Subscribe to Cookie the Main in the next 5 seconds and you'll get infinite luck and hatch 100 secret pets. I know I'm subscribing. Alright guys, today we're going to be looking at 12 things that Mining Thunder 2 could add in future updates. And, I mean, the game already has a lot of good features, but I feel like it needs a few more to make it more original than other simulators out there so for number one we have the mystery merchant and as we all know uh bubble simulator was like the first game to actually make a mystery merchant where every weekend or so you can come in and get a certain amount of pets for an amount of currency gems or like a world currency and you get a, like a secret pet or whatever and i feel like right here would be a great spot for that because i mean it'll be sick you know come every weekend saturday sunday get a free pet not even free pet it's like a currency but it's like a good pet and you get a shiny of them and all that that's pretty great you know so yeah and then for number two we have pet hat and we currently have something similar like that for the diamond not diamond the demon tree in the halloween event but i mean it's not like you can hatch that it's like it's pretty random um for each pet see right here it's pretty random for each pet it's a demon tree it gives a hat a halloween hat and i feel like we just have like something similar to eggs for hats that would be perfect instead of having to enchant something and getting a random hat maybe that you didn't want or you know you have to you have to wait to it's not like you have to like instantly get it or whatever like you know it's like i don't know how to explain it but yeah i feel like we should get like hat hatches or whatever something to bgs i mean a lot of things are from bgs but i feel like it would be perfect if it was added into mining server 2 itself and speaking of enchants we have to go with uh mining enchants so you know how we have power three you know it basically makes the pet more powerful in all its stats but kind of similar to the bubble potions or whatever we had a bus leader Bubble Goose Simulator, um, I feel like we just had mining enchants or like coin enchants, candy enchants where it just changes that certain stat and not everything else because, you know, that can make something super OP or like if someone has the best pet and they would like the mining chance to go higher so they have, you know, the best mining team or whatever, you know, that would be perfect. So I feel like that should be added as well. So mining a chance should definitely be a thing. Because what is that? There's really nothing here for size one and two. Like, that really doesn't impact the pet. It just makes the pet bigger and it's stupid. So, I feel like we should uh, sim like substitute the mining enchants and stuff like that for the size enchantments because it's there's nothing honestly important for that. Same with the color. I feel like that's just stupid. And and demon tree, I feel like that should be a thing. Like, scared, it should just be hats. All right, and so for number four, speaking of enchants and mining. We should make, um, well not make, but like we should, they should add competitive leaderboards. I mean, like, I feel like that was the best part about Bubble Later, the competitive leaderboard every other month, and you would get us a, a, like, free boost and, a, um, a limited time pet, like, only you can get that for completing this entire challenge for an entire month, and that was fun. I did that three times, got the pet and everything, and I feel like that would be super cool in Mining Simulator 2, and plus it will keep, um, players active, like, that would be sick, and then the value of uh, minus seventy two could change because only two hundred of those pets can get uh, given out, and you know, and we can use enchantments and all that, be competitive with trading and all that to get onto the leaderboards, which is what I call that. And yeah, and then for number five, I have a new concept. It's basically like a daily reward thing where you can earn currency for completing daily rewards. Like it's kind of like BGS where you had the daily reward like spin machine or whatever for completing a challenge, but you got uh, a potion or like boost. But I feel like this you should get a currency and then this goes to number six. You have a shop somewhere like in the map that randomly spawns somewhere, and you can convert that currency into random items that are in the shop every day. Like the shop rotates every day. It's not, it's not the same item in each uh, the store every time where you could spend the currency you can get from daily rewards or doing daily rewards in it and i feel like that would be more fun than just mining and hatching eggs and looking for ore because you know you can have some special pets in there and i feel like that would just be pretty cool to have and for number seven we have spin to win uh i remember we had this for july but they took it away and basically you had uh free boost and gems and all that and you can win spins so you have a little amount of spins and you could win uh, eggs and pets and etc from the spin to win and I feel like that would be pretty cool as well to keep in the game as well because it'd be it's pretty fun you know big idea as well and going on to number eight we have guess the pet we had this already in the summer fair and 
a lot of people loved it i mean it, we had some challenges and we had deals and bets and whatever who can know like the most pets or whatever in the game and i feel like that could help as well with the game's uh popularity because i remember back in pgs days when we had the competitive things or whatever like the tournament people will use just the pet as a like a round or whatever and uh, people won based off of just that one round which is insane so i feel like if we brought back guess the pet where i spin the win that would help the game out and for number nine it's kind of like the enchant from earlier but it's the um max level potions or like bubble potions and stuff like that well bubble potions is basically that but a max level potion or like a max i don't know something potion that it can easily help uh, level up the pet instead of having to mine down or whatever to go ahead and level it up because that does take time sometimes if you're like a new player and you would want the pet to be leveled up i feel like that would be great you know so i feel like that should be added as well and going on to number 10 we have a auto color game pass um sometimes you don't have the time to go in every single world like there's like six worlds already to go in and collect the po uh, chest in there for your currency so i feel like the auto collect game pass would be great we did have this in bgs and it did help a lot during the events because you would be afk for a long time and you'd be losing currency but you have the auto collect game pass to help you so that you could collect the chest and you would easily just gain the currency back and start hatching over and over again it's basically infinite loop of hatching and i feel like it should be worth like 200 robux at least i think that's fair price because you know that's 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 a pretty grateful game pass and i make them a lot of money so who knows and going to number 11 it's similar to 7 and 8 where you can have many games and you can have like a certain mini game or whatever that can help you earn boost and such like it'll be pretty fun like we had doggy jump in bgs and that was fun because every day you could play it and you'd earn boost or some type of level up potions or whatever and that was pretty sick and for the last one number 12 i feel like a lot of people will want this and that is the ability to trade ores um and gems because ores are pretty hard to find and you know there's people that want thousands of fire shards or whatever to pause into the thing and someone has that but they don't and they would like that they would be able to trade pets or maybe gems to get those kind of ores into the inventory i feel like that would be a great concept because i do feel like that way sometimes where i would want multiple fire shards in my inventory but the only way you can get that is by mining yourself and you know some people are lazy and they want uh ores and all that and gems i feel like that's unnecessary because a lot of games have that feature besides minus number two and it'd be a great way to trade and fix the value of pets to trade for them with gems and i feel like that would be perfect but yeah those are my 12 things that i think should be added into minus number two in a future updates if you agree as well then make sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn the bell on to um when i post brand new videos and comment below any more ideas you would want but besides that anyways guys peace if you enjoyed that video then you wouldn't mind watching another one of my videos on the left and right of the screen i also post every day so you don't want to miss out on those videos as well i do post pessimistic on my second channel which is right here now goodbye